Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a new video. This one, usually I do like monthly hauls, like end of the month hauls, but I just got this package in the mail and I thought it would be fun to share these goodies with you. So I have a little bit of an affordable haul. I just got a bunch of new stuff from Wet n Wild and I'm excited because I think I have enough stuff in here to do like a almost full face of Wet n Wild products. So that'll be really exciting. Definitely comment down below if you're interested in seeing that from me. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I did pick up some new mascaras from them. I've never seen these before and I just thought the packaging was really cute. Plus these were like three bucks a pop. And one of my favorite mascaras, my bottom lash mascara, is from Wet n Wild. So I thought I'd try a few more. So we have Mega Volume, Mega Volume Waterproof, and then Mega Length. So these are the three mascaras I picked up from them which look great and then they have a new lip formula and I love their liquid lipstick formula so I was excited to see what this formula was like. This sounded more like it was going to be a satin lip and I really like the shades they have in their liquid lipstick formula so I figured I'd pick these up and these are called the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick. So I picked up the shade Cedar Later and this berry one called Wine is the Answer. Super cute, definitely reminds me of like Jeffree Star lipstick packaging. And yeah, this one looks like a great everyday neutral lip color for me. So I will have to keep you guys posted on how I feel about that particular lip formula, whether I think it's messy or what I think long lasting this, that, and the other. I also picked these up for fun. I didn't really need any of this, but I thought it would be fun to try out. So I did pick up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation, and I picked up the shade Sand Beige, which I think should work for me. And then this one looks so cute. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. And that's what it looks like, and I like coconut, so pick those up. And then the last things I picked up, I really didn't need these, but they just look so cute online. And I was like, why not? <laughs> so I picked up all of their new little eyeshadow palettes. So I have Cosmic Collision, VIP Purple, and then I also got a new blush from them because I thought their blushes were too light for my skin tone, so I picked this one up. This is called Blazenberry. It looks like it's tan girl, like, or like really like deep dark skin friendly, but I feel like I could sheer this out on my skin tone, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. I've never tried the Wet n Wild blushes, I don't think. And then I have the other two eyeshadow palettes. I picked up my Glamour Squad, which definitely looks like a dupe for the Soft Glam. And then this one is Stop Playing Safe, which I can't remember if this is supposed to look like something. Oh, and then this one, I think people said looked like the uh, Natasha Denona Lila palette. So yeah, how fun are all these things? And it was so affordable. Everything in this haul, I think total was like $50, which is usually what I pay for like a palette. So it's basically almost a full face of makeup. Plus I have some Wet n Wild highlighters. I have the Wet n Wild bronzer that I really like. So it'll be a fun video. Definitely gonna shoot that one for you guys. And let me know any other suggestions you'd like to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.